This video is brought to you by Hulu Plus. Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video showing you how to build a gaming PC for $500. So for that money you could buy a console, or you could build yourself an awesome gaming PC. To start with, let's take a look at some games running on the $500 PC. So first of all, we have Battlefield 4, which is definitely one of the best looking games of 2013. Now at the moment, it's a little bit glitchy, especially on PC. However, even with that, we're still able to run on medium settings at well over 60 frames per second. Next, we have Crisis 3, another game that looks absolutely fantastic even when you're running it on low settings. However, with this PC, we can actually run it on high at 1080p. Bioshock Infinite is one of the most hyped games of this year, and it absolutely delivers, with great gameplay, great story, and of course, since it's running on a PC, great graphics, as here we're able to run it on very high settings. Last but not least, we have Metro Last Light, one of my surprise favorite games of this year, and here we're going to be able to play it on normal settings, again at 1080p. To kick the build off, we're going to be using an AMD Athlon X4760K. So this is an absolutely perfect processor for this build, as it is a quad-core CPU that clocks all the way up to 4.1 GHz right out of the box, which is kind of insane when you consider that this is a $500 PC. So as it is a K-series part, that means that you can overclock it, so if you'd like, you can buy a little bit better cooling, try to get even more power out of the CPU, but as is, it's going to run you about $90. For the motherboard, we're going to be using an MSI A78M E35. So this is the follow-up to one of my favorite boards that I've used in a ton of my builds recently, and it adds a few additional features on top of the standard stuff that you would expect, including obviously support for our processor as well as overclocking, but this also supports the new FM2 Kaveri APU, which I actually did a video on a little bit ago, so you will actually be able to upgrade this CPU later on if you choose. It does have all the rest of the bells and whistles, including USB 3, SATA 3, and now it also does have a PCI Express 3.0 slot, so you got all your 3s covered, and this one's going to run you about $65. For the graphics card, we're going to be using a 2GB EVGA GTX 650 Ti Boost. So this is a great card for a build like this, so as you guys saw earlier, it has plenty of power to handle games at 1080p, and it also, importantly, does come with 2GB of memory on board. So more and more games are needing lots and lots of memory, so having that extra gig of RAM over some other different cards which only have a single gig can definitely make a difference. Now unfortunately the 650 Ti Boost is a little bit hard to find right now, it's out of stock a lot of places, so I will also include a link to the AMD R7-260X in the description. Very similar card, very similar performance and price, so if you can't find the 650 Ti Boost, definitely be sure to go check out the R7-260X. For memory, we're going to be using 8GB of Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM. So I've heard a lot of good stuff about this, so I figured it'd be worth a shot to try for this build, and I've got to say I'm impressed. So one nice thing about this in particular is that it is a single 8GB stick of RAM. So because this motherboard only does have two DIMM slots, that means we can drop this 8 gigs in and the single DIMM, and if we'd like, we can grab another 8 gigs stick, drop it in there, and we will have 16 gigabytes in our system. So a very easy upgrade path. It also is rated at 1600 megahertz, so it's gonna be more than fast enough for pretty much anything you need to do, and it's going to run you about $70. For a hard drive, we're going to be using a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. So hard drives definitely aren't the most exciting thing, however the Caviar Blue series is a solid line, and with this one you do get 1TB of capacity, which means you've got plenty of room for your music, your videos, your games, all that kind of fun stuff. And also it is going to be decently fast, so definitely nowhere near an SSD, it's also going to cost you way less than a 1TB SSD. So this is a solid choice for $70. For the power supply, we're going to be using a 430 watt Corsair CX430. So if you guys have watched my budget builds before, you know that I absolutely love to use this power supply, as with 430 watts, it's going to be more than enough for the build, even with a few upgrades. And also, very, very importantly, it's going to be a reliable power supply. So you can think of this as the beating heart of your build. If you cheap out here, it can absolutely cause huge damage in the rest of your system. So that's why this is a solid supply. I've used lots of them and they've never failed me. And it's also an 80 plus bronze certified supply. So we'll even save you a little bit on your power bill, all for about $45. For a case, we're going to be using the Rosewill Line M. So I used this in my $600 build and I was impressed with it. So I decided to give it a shot for this one as well. So this is a micro ATX case, which means it's going to be quite a bit smaller than what you see behind me here. However, that's definitely a good thing in my opinion, as you get a lot less weight and a lot less bulk on your desk. However, it still has all the features you would expect. So it has USB 3.0 ports as well as USB 2.0 ports. It's decently built for a budget case, and it does have two fans. So you have a 120 millimeter fan in the front as well as the back, giving you actually surprisingly good airflow for a fairly budget case. So this is going to be a great choice for $55. So there you go, everything you need to build yourself an awesome $500 gaming PC. 
Now, as always, prices are constantly changing, so I will have links to everything I mentioned in the description of this video, including that extra graphics card. Also in the description, I will have a tutorial showing you how to actually put this PC together. So I use this for my 2014 build guide. So if you guys want to see how to do that, again, check out the description. It's got everything you need to know. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Hulu Plus for helping make this video possible. You've probably tried Hulu.com, but Hulu Plus is way more. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or watch a great movie. Stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, anytime, anywhere, in the living room, or on the go with your smartphone or tablet. You can watch your favorite TV shows like SNL, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Shark Tank, and Scandal. There are also Hulu originals you can check out, like The Wrong Mans and Behind the Mask, which is surprisingly good. Right now, you can try Hulu Plus free for two weeks when you go to huluplus.com slash Austin, and that special link is just for you guys. Make sure you use huluplus.com slash Austin to get your extended free trial and to let them know I sent you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you want to see more monthly gaming PC build videos like this, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're always kept up to date with the latest and greatest. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.